have wine in my hands, but that's what I'm gonna need to get through this video. Thank you for that lovely song, Dr. Stella Emanuel. This video is just gonna be basically entirely about you. So I hope you all are ready to talk about demons and their sperm. No, I am not kidding. So a few days ago, there was a conference in Washington, D.C. where these doctors came together and called themselves America's frontline doctors just out there fighting coronavirus without masks or any scientific evidence of any kind. And I'll use the word miraculously here. Their website is miraculously all of a sudden down. It hasn't been that long since Trump was talking about his profound love for hydroxychloroquine and uh, it's no surprise that he would promote somebody that has that same mindset that hydroxychloroquine is this miracle drug. But it just so happens that this woman he decided to retweet is just batshit crazy. And that is my technical term for it. We treat them and they leave. None has died. So if some fake science, some person sponsored by all these fake pharma companies comes out and say, oh, we've done studies and they found out that it doesn't work, I can tell you categorically it's fake science. Fake news and fake science. It's fake science. And what's even funnier is that Trump's tweet and Trump's son's tweet have been removed, have been censored, the video has been pulled down, it's garnered millions of views on Facebook and Twitter, and they are taking this video down, obviously, because it's really bad information to have out there. And I completely agree with this stuff getting pulled down because it's ridiculous nonsense, but sometimes I do think the internet takes things too far and pulls down things that are actually legitimate commentary, like if I'm criticizing these people, I'm honestly fearful that YouTube will pull down this video for commenting on the nonsense that they've pulled down. Because they've done that to me before, and in that case I will repost this on Slug. You can follow me on slug.com slash Jacqueline. It's a really fun website where you can post whatever you want without any fear of people censoring you. It's an open forum free of censorship. You guys can say whatever you want on there without any kind of fear of something bad happening to you. I'm going to be using that site a lot in the future to ask you guys questions and do polls and things like what you want me to do in future videos, types of content, opinions on things. So please make sure you follow me on slug.com slash Jacqueline so we can keep the conversation going. Now back to more ridiculousness. Fake science. So this woman is a general practitioner. I do believe she's a pediatrician in Texas. She has a clinic that's part of a mall that's right next to her church where she's also a minister. She does have a medical degree from Nigeria and a degree in Jesus apparently as well, which has made her highly qualified to give the following advice, claiming that gynecological problems like cysts and endometriosis are in fact caused by people having sex in their dreams with demons and witches. I mean, can you blame them? They're pretty hot. Cause hell, get it? Fire? Eh. Never mind. She's also claimed that scientists plan to install microchips in people and develop a vaccine to make it impossible to become religious. Well, maybe I got that vaccine and that just explains my entire channel. Thanks, mom, for not being an anti-vaxxer. There are people that are ruling this nation that are not even human, she said in her 2015 Illuminati sermon before launching into a conversation she had with a reptilian spirit she described as half human, half ET. Truly scientific. Before I get into Trump's support of this crazy person, batshit, as I said previously, I want to tell you more about her so it paints a full picture as though I haven't already given you enough to come to the same conclusion. There's more. A YouTube video she posted in 2015 was titled, A Fight for the Soul of America is a Fight for the World, and it's said. Right now, medical sciences has gotten to a fact that they have children that are being born, there's transhumanism right now, and they are believing that in 50 years in this nation, human beings are gonna be different. That is why the Bible says in those days when you take the mark, because when some of those things come inside of you, you're no longer human. You've lost part of your humanity. I'm sorry. I thought that when things came inside of you, you actually made another human, not became less human. <laughs> I mean, for real, the transhumanism, she's saying that people are being injected with alien DNA to change who we are to the core of us, changing our DNA, changing humanity to merge with that of alien life. Why? And right now, demons are being, they are creating containers right now for demons to inhabit. They might call them whatever. They can build all kinds of things. Then a demon can enter and say, I'm walking around. And doing, and doing what the devil does best, bring confusion. Well, then the devil must be very present in her because she is making me hella confused. Hella, because we're in hell. And just fucking, I'm gonna stop making jokes. And the homosexual agenda has gotten so loud and so powerful. It's really an agenda. They're, they're doing such that anytime anything concerns gay anything, they come there and they make noise, they harass, they terrorize 
everybody. Terrorize? That means gay people are terrorists now. They are. Wow, that is the example that I've been looking for this entire time for what a radical homosexual is. This woman could be best friends with Jesse Lee Peterson. The radical homosexuals who hate the Christians. Radical homosexuals. Oh. They terrorize you with legal action. They terrorize you by calling you. They terrorize your business. It's just become a terror. They just terrorize everybody. Right now, there's a homosexual terrorism in America. You can't say anything. You can't say, I don't want, I don't believe in gay marriage. Everybody will go against you. They will just terrorize you. They will terrorize any business that says it. They will terrorize, just, they will just terrorize it. They will just terrorize those radical homosexuals. Radical homosexuals, the radical homosexuals. Radical homosexuals. They just terrorize everybody. <laughs> and if that wasn't enough, right, now we have to go after yoga because we all know that shit's demonic too. We need to deal with that spirit of yoga because a lot of people, in, even in the church, their spirits are yoked with these Eastern demons. And the church has brought it into the church, yogas and pilates, oh, we're just going to do the exercise part. There's no such thing as exercise. There is no such thing as exercise. Write that down, guys. Yoga is demonic. Yoga is any yoga teacher. It's a Buddhist evangelist. You cannot do yoga and separate doing yoga from the spiritual aspect of it. Do not do yoga or else demons, okay? All this witchcraft is coming into the soul of our children. If you go to McDonald's to buy something, the toys, parents, look at the toys you bring out of McDonald's. You come out of there with witches and psychics and snails and snakes and all kinds of crazy stuff. Pokemon. Oh my God, not McDonald's Happy Meal toys. No, not Pokemon. The demons, there's a Pikachu demon from hell. The eight ball was a psychic. When you call it, when you wiggle it, you, will, you ask a question and it will tell you. People that played with, you know, you know, Bloody Mary, all kinds of stuff. I love Bloody Marys in the morning, and I know three is the bad number, but I typically like to go beyond three Bloody Marys, especially if I'm having like a big breakfast or it's lunchtime. Spicier the better too, you know, I want it hot. I want it hellishly hot. But really, magic eight balls, we're gonna come, we're, <laughs> ooh, we're listening to this woman's medical advice when she is just going off on magic eight balls. Like, I, I can't even imagine what she would say about Ouija boards from Hasbro. Toys R Us needs to be shut down. There's no way. But no, 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 it's great, it's great. Let's listen to her advice on uh, COVID and the pandemic because, you know, that's the type of person that I really want to help guide the way for science in the future to really make sure we're all very healthy. And I'm so glad that our wonderful, wonderful president has decided to share this valuable information Thanks. Because there is no way I can treat 350 patients and counting and nobody is dead and they all did better and then you're going to tell me that you treated 20 people, 40 people and, and it didn't work. I'm a true testimony. So I came here to Washington DC to tell America, nobody needs to get sick. This virus has a cure. It is called hydroxychloroquine, zinc, and zitromat. Yeah, now this has been disproven, so please no one take this seriously. If you haven't already come to that conclusion, just don't, don't take this woman seriously, please. Yeah, sure, it can be a cure for things like malaria or lupus or rheumatoid arthritis, but not COVID. Back in March, the FDA did give emergency approval to Donald Trump to be able to allow hospitals to give it out as a potential treatment. But the very next month, they took that shit back, saying it had no greater effect than a placebo. And then after that point, after the FDA rescinded that, <laughs> Trump is like, you know what, now's a great time to just go off about how I'm taking hydroxychloroquine and how great it is. And a lot of good things have come out about the hydroxy. A lot of good things have come out. I happen to be taking it. I happen to be taking it. I'm taking it, hydroxychloroquine. When, right uh, now, yeah. I actually included this clip in a previous video I made about how he said churches were essential, which I'm sure this doctor would also agree with because, you know, how else are we going to get rid of the demons? Today I'm identifying houses of worship, churches, synagogue, and mosques as essential places that provide essential services. We need Jesus and we need hydroxychloroquine and then we're good, right? Although, you know, you would think if you have enough Jesus, you wouldn't need medicine. But that's beyond the point. That's fine. Just let's keep going. There are other things out there, right, Trump? Like sunlight or the flu vaccine, perhaps. Deborah, have you ever heard of that? Uh, the uh, heat and the light relative to certain viruses, yes, but relative to this virus? 
that is a treatment. You take a, a solid flu vaccine, you don't think that would have an impact or much of an impact on corona? No. No, coronavirus somehow isn't affected by the vaccine that was meant for the influenza virus, but crazy how those two things are different. And then there's, of course, his uh, brilliant idea of injecting yourself with, you know, bleach, Lysol, whatever you can find around the house, really. But let's make it very clear that the FDA has revoked its emergency use authorization for these two drugs. And then they say in bold, do not use these medications to treat COVID-19. Here is some more information, a summary from the FDA review of safety issues with the use of hydroxychloroquine and chloroquine to treat hospitalized patients with COVID-19 is now available. This includes reports of serious heart rhythm problems and other safety issues, including blood and lymph system disorders, kidney injuries, and liver problems and failure. There are many reports of it causing heart arrhythmias and other serious cardiovascular problems, so please just don't, don't take it. Go talk to your doctor and listen to actual scientific advice, not demon whatever the hell this lady's talking about. Alright, and then there's masks. Trump was like, nah, you don't need to wear a mask. I'm not gonna wear a mask, but you know what? Yes, you should wear a mask. No, you shouldn't, but you should. You don't have to, but yes, you do have to. It's patriotic to do so. We are united in our effort to defeat the invisible China virus, and many people say that it is patriotic to wear a face mask when you can't socially distance. There is nobody more patriotic than me. I can't even say this. Your favorite president. But then, just, you know, throwing this out there, the video he retweeted of this crazy lady uh, had a clip of her saying this about face masks. I know you people want to talk about mask. Hello? You don't need mask. There is a cure. I know they don't want to open schools. No, you don't need to, people to be locked down. There is prevention and there is a cure. So she tweeted this entire video saying, COVID has a cure, America wake up. That was retweeted. She's a fearless warrior for the truth, dot, 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 debunking the left wing narrative on hydroxychloroquine. That is why they want to attack her so fiercely. Keep up the good fight, Dr. Stella. You fearless warrior, you. Make sure you guys notice that this was retweeted by our favorite president. Kind of funny, I also want to throw this in there. His uh, son, Trump Jr. also tweeted this out and because he actually didn't retweet it, he uploaded the video himself. He got banned on Twitter for a little bit of time there, so that's hilarious. But back to patriotism. Look how patriotic our favorite president is right there. He just looks majestic in that there mask. And you know who else looks great in masks? Stella. Girl, you look great in masks. You know all those times you wore it? On May 17th, May 24th, June 2nd, June 5th, June 21st, June 28th, and countless other times like that beautiful song that I played at the beginning of this video. He got the whole world in his hands. Amen, thank you, Jesus. Bit hypocritical, don't you think? If you have a cure, why are you wearing a mask? And shouldn't the cure just be Jesus in himself? Why ain't that enough? And then things get even more ridiculous whenever she challenges CNN and Dr. Fauci to send her jars of urine so she can test them to see if they've been taking hydroxychloroquine, therefore feeling like they're safe from getting COVID because they've already got the cure. And she says this in such an eloquently professional way on her Twitter, right? I double dog dare y'all give me a urine sample. Professionalism. I had a really hard time finding her saying this on YouTube. It seems like videos keep going up and then getting pulled down, but I did find a clip of it on this YouTube channel, A Wondering Wandering Atheist. Now, <laughs> this is interesting for a few reasons. I think her commentary is absolutely hilarious, and there was a funny comment. I'll get to that at the end, but let's see what uh, what Stella had to say. A lot of the doctors that are sitting down going, hydroxychloroquine doesn't work, they're actually taking the prophylaxis. I know, I have put a lot of them on it. Who? Who have you put on it? I would love to know. Oh, it's doctor patient privilege. I can't tell you, but I promise you I did. They are taking prophylaxis. They and their families are protected, and they're busy telling Americans where well, we can prescribe it because, you know, I'm scared for my license. This woman should be scared for her license regardless. How does she still have one? Can't they do something to take it away? What more ridiculous nonsense do you need to spout that puts people in danger that could possibly take this bullshit seriously? What more do you have to do to lose your medical license in the United States? Come on! What's his name again? Andrew Cuomo's brother, the, the you know, the crazy one? He's the crazy one? <laughs> really? You don't think that maybe there's anybody else that comes to mind, Stella, that might be a little bit more crazy? That dude, I knew he took hydroxychloroquine. Do you know why? He kept saying that he was having nightmares. I knew he took some form of hydroxychloroquine, or one of them, probably the bad version. That's the best evidence I've ever heard. You know, he gets nightmares. <sighs> I'm just going to go ahead and defer to a wondering, wandering atheist on this one. Okay. She knows he takes hydroxychloroquine. Because the dude has nightmares. So, 
anytime anybody now has a nightmare, it is because they're secretly taking hydroxychloroquine and not because people have bad dreams from time to time. <laughs> that is right. It's not because people sometimes have bad dreams. It's because they're taking drugs and the demons and the witches and the goddamn magic eight balls. You hear me, America? These people are taking hydroxychloroquine. I dare everyone in DC. All you talking heads on CNN. Give me a urine sample. If I check your urine and you don't have hydroxychloroquine in your urine, then ask America not to take it. You senators, all of them. You know why they don't wear masks? Anthony Fauci can sit around and not wear masks because they are all on hydroxychloroquine. I, you know what? I think that not only should Dr. Fauci and apparently everyone on CNN send her a urine sample. I think that everyone should. I think we should all find out where we can send our urine samples. Maybe her, her clinic, wherever that is in Houston. And we should just all send her little baggies of our pee so that she can test them. Because I really want to help her prove her point about demons and stuff. So if we could just all send her little pee samples, that'd be great. They know it, but they want Americans to die. So let's get it. I dare every single one of you. Give me a urine sample. I double, triple, dog, dare you. And if you lose, I get your lunch money for the rest of the week. I think she just has a urine fetish and she wants to be in a bunch of people's urine. Okay. I take it back. No one's under your pee. It's weird now. They, that Now it's weird. A urine sample. If you're not on hydroxychloroquine, if we don't find it in your urine, then we'll stop treating people. I dare you. She dared you. And since she dared you, I'm going to truth her. Do you really believe this? Truth. Do you believe what you're saying? Be honest. Because I don't think she does. I think this is a publicity stunt for whatever reason. I think she's crazy. But I also think that she's not crazy enough to know that this is all complete and total bullshit. Leave a comment and let me know what you guys think. Do you think she's really delusional enough to believe what she's saying? Or do you think she's conning people somehow? Let me know in the comments. And my favorite thing was the comment. There was only one comment on this video. And Dad Man had this to say. I love how your whiteness affords you the right to question black doctors about topics you don't understand. Yeah, because this is a race issue now. I mean, your thing is dad man, so clearly you are a male. So what makes you think you have the right to question a woman commentator on the internet about topics you don't understand. Boom. I mean, come on, really. Calling out this bullshit is in favor of all races because you are what they would like to call a human being. And we all have the same physiology that will react negatively to bullshit science. It's fake science. So let's just for once, for the love of the God I don't believe in, let's for once be on the same page about this dumbass shit. So apparently Dr. Stella was pretty upset that Facebook pulled down her page and she had this to say. Hello, Facebook. Put back my profile page and videos up or your computers with start crap till you do. You are not bigger than God. I promise you, if my page is not back up, Facebook will be down in Jesus name. What the? What the? Okay, let me see if this shit works. YouTube. If I do not have a million subscribers before the end of the year, your computers will blow up and things will be your toilets will overflow. I put a spell on you. I mean, that's kind of what it sounds like she's doing, right? She's like, I curse you. I thought she was against witchcraft. What is going on here? Oh, this video is just turning into even more nonsense, but my major point is please do not listen to her. Please don't listen to crazy people like this. Listen to Dr. Fauci, okay? Dr. Fauci is our Lord and Savior. The overwhelming prevailing clinical trials that have looked at the efficacy of hydroxychloroquine have indicated that it is not effective in coronavirus disease. Period. End of story. Mic drop. That's all we need to know. Okay, Trump, MAGA people who subscribe to this nonsense? I can't believe there are people out there actually defending this woman too. And saying things like she's being persecuted for her religious beliefs? <sighs> mm -mm, mm -mm can't do it anymore. When you are supposed to be a medical professional and you are sending out advice into the world that could affect very seriously millions and millions of people, you can't just go back on my religious beliefs are being persecuted. 
I am being persecuted because I just love Jesus so much. No, you are being criticized because you are putting false information out into the world that could kill people. Don't wear masks. You can roll in all the demon sperm you want in the world and it will not cause as much damage as that one piece of shitty advice could cause. And with that, I'm gonna go finish this bottle of wine because the world is a very frustrating place to be. Follow me on slug.com slash Jacqueline so we can continue this conversation over there. Wear a mask. Please go to ffvmerch.com. Get your very own demonic cat wine mask because you know what? Satan loves you and he wants you to live. So if Jesus is saying to not wear a mask, then Satan is saying to wear a mask and I think we all know who y'all are having wet dreams about. Okay, that's enough of me. Thanks for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. The more likes actually really does help my videos do better in the YouTube algorithm, so I really appreciate you. My chair just keeps swiveling this way. Also share this video, that would really help me out a lot too. And a big thank you to everybody supporting me over on Patreon. Patreon.com slash Jacqueline, it would mean a lot since my videos tend to get demonetized on here because I say things like demon sperm. Also make sure to follow me on Instagram and TikTok. I try to spread things out over multiple platforms because you never know at what point something's gonna go down. YouTube could just randomly delete me one day because they don't like whenever I say demon sperm. Demon sperm is a bad thing to say, so you shouldn't say demon sperm, okay. But I do have a lot of fun on TikTok. There's a lot of Christian cringe on TikTok, so if you want me to do a video on that, leave a comment, let me know. Go follow me on TikTok, let me know over there, and if I get enough requests, I'll do it. Thanks so much for watching. Hail Satan, and I'll see y'all later. Mwah. Oh yeah, and by the way, stay safe and try to stay sane if you can in this fucking crazy world. All right, bye. Psh.